was sent the Calamus fountain pen by Anya from Papier und Stift. Well, that was a really good view of the ink window. Anyway, um, she also sent me the matching ballpoint and rollable uh, designed by Herr Pflug. And these have some funny features, so I thought I would review them. But because this really is a fountain pen channel, I thought I would do these separately from the fountain pen, but together in one video. Because I think a video on the ballpoint and then a video on the rollable may be a bit much for a fountain pen channel, so I'll combine these two. I'll do a writing sample with both today. <coughs> Sorry. The ballpoint is a lot of fun because it has a gravity mechanism. A man's favorite wrist motion. Now, here we also have the rollerball. The rollerball is not gravity assisted. <coughs> Pardon me. Sip of tea. Jubilee by Murchies in BC. Outstanding tea, it's so good. Anyway, um, rollerball, clicking mechanism. Funny, because often rollerballs have a cap that basically a fountain pen, but then with a rollerball tip and then a cap. So, it look, But this is different, and I really like it. And it's kind of cute, and I was really afraid I was going to break this, because you, uh, how do you do this again? To take out, oh yes, to take out the refill, you kind of push this down, and then you can open up this part. You see, and then the whole refill, a little bit of fiddling, but you just pull it out. And this is sort of a shell. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. But I never ask questions. I kind of <coughs> ask for forgiveness, not permission. You heard it here first. SBRA Brown rules. Now! Let's, uh, let's look at these two pens in action. That's what we're gonna do. If I do this with my mustache, if it grows out a bit, I look like a Lorax. Oh, no, is that? Anyway, sorry. Um, I had a lot of sugar. Let's, let's look at how these two pens write, what I like, what I don't like. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the Calamus uh, fountain pen and bull points. So, no, sorry, the fountain pen, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, I already covered the fountain pen. This is the fountain pen, then there is a ball point and a roller ball that I also wanted to share with you. As to the pricing, the ball point is $34.50 and the roller ball is $19.95 and that is euros. They come in these very nice, simple uh, cardboard tubes, which I love because not a lot of waste and you can just recycle it and you have this Calamos, um little instruction manual. Okay, I just wanted to go over these. I have already done the video on the fountain pen, so you can look at that if you prefer fountain pens, but I just wanted to share the ballpoint and the roller ball as well. So, uh, I will do a writing sample, but obviously there's not gonna be any line variation, that kind of stuff. Why don't we start with the ballpoint, because B comes before R in the alphabet, done it. Uh, so, a fun pen, small, right? It's not a large pen. Here you have it right next to a Pilot Metropolitan, right? Um, small pen, and yet I can just use it perfectly fine. Um, it, it's almost, it almost strikes me as a, a little bit longer than the fountain pen, and that's because I can't hold the fountain pen at that section, but I can hold this ballpoint down a little farther, a little, sorry, a little farther down. There's not much to say, I mean, it's a ballpoint, right? So you have the grip section, you have these grooves, we have a roll stopper yet again, and you have the ability to open this up to take out the Schmidt um, refill. And as I said, the fun thing about this pen is the gravity-operated tip that comes out. That's pretty much what I have for the ballpoint. Now, as to the rollerball, uh, the rollerball clearly in design quite similar uh, to the extent that, oops, sorry, I'm just trying to balance these here. Um, it feels to me like this section is a little bit girthier, grip section a little girthier than on the ballpoint. You have the same grooves and you have what I think is a pretty cute design. You have a clip, it's plastic, I'll come back to that. Then you have the rollerball refill, um, which, how do I do this again? 
with a bit of fiddling, you can just pull that out, right? So it's the actual refill that you see down there, and you can push that back in again, the whole thing comes out, and it is then a simple button-operated rollerball. Kind of fun, and because it's not very big, this is easy to put in a pocket or what have you, bags, etc. This doesn't have a roll stopper, but it has a clip. And as you can see, it doesn't stop it from rolling, and the roll stopper doesn't necessarily stop it from rolling, but this is, this is a plastic cutting board I use, and it's actually curved a little bit. And I don't think my, my desk is entirely straight either. Um, what can I say? Everything's askew. So I, I do think that the this roll stopper actually works pretty well. Anyway, having said that, why don't we just look at a quick writing sample starting off with the ballpoint. So here we have the Calamus ballpoint, nice black refill. It's pretty smooth. I, it doesn't really matter what I do in, in line variation, etc. Right? I mean, there, there, there is none. Um, I do have the feeling that for, for signatures and such, it's, it's kind of a nice pen. So, not bad. Then, we have the rollable. So this is the, and I find the ballpoint, because it's brass, I actually find it really solid in hand, by the way. The roller ball is definitely lighter. This, is this metal? I have a feeling this part is metal, but this is all plastic. So it's a lot lighter. It just has that click operating mechanism. Also, for the record, I'm about to sneeze, so sorry. <coughs> oh, thank you. So we have the roller ball. Nice, smooth. I always have, if I have the choice between a rollerball and a ballpoint, I use a, a rollerball simply because I like that, that smooth, inky experience better than uh, a ballpoint. But you know, that's, that's just me. Uh, again, just a smooth writer, writes quickly, writes well works well for signatures, etc. And that's pretty much it. So, two cute pens, I think relatively they're affordable, especially if you consider they are a bit of a design type thing, and they're refillable. Right? The Schmidt refills are, are fairly ubiquitous, uh, so you can refill them, you don't have to contribute to a whole lot of plastic waste by using ballpoints that you just throw out entirely uh, when they are empty. So I think they're quite cute. So let's have a look at likes, dislikes, and that's pretty much it. Likes and dislikes. I don't have that many dislikes. It's a cute ballpoint with a gimmicky uh, gravity-assisted mechanism. Uh, it, it, it is well designed. It's solid, just like the fountain pen. The roller ball is also very cute. The price for the rollerball is nothing, 1995 euros. Remember, if you buy from overseas, you don't pay the VAT. So it's even more affordable. The ballpoint is a little bit more expensive, 34.50 euros. But with that gravity-assisted mechanism, I, I understand that would be a little bit more expensive. Beyond that, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, the ballpoint, I have nothing against. It's small, but it's big enough for me to use. It's comfortable, it's heavy because of the brass it's made of, really nice. The rollerball is a bit lighter. The one thing that worries me a bit about the rollerball is this plastic clip, which I'm pretty sure I can snap off without much issue. And because you have to operate that mechanism, I think the way I do, I would be a little careful with that, that you don't break off this plastic part. Having said that, it's also comfortable, it's also fun to use. Yeah, I don't know. With these prices, I don't really know what to say that's really negative. I think they're cute pens. I think they're very nice. I like them a lot, and that's the end of it. Um, I don't really have negative things to point out. So there you have it. <clears throat> Anya, thank you so much for sending me all three pens. I really appreciate it. Uh, Herr Pflug has done an outstanding job in designing these, I think. People, I hope this was useful. 
and uh, I will gladly see you later. Thank you for your continued viewership. It means a lot to me. And this is just coming out right now because with my videos, this is not rehearsed. What you see is what you get. But it's been 10 years. And some of you have been with me from the beginning. No, sorry. Uh, and uh, But I, I'm, in all seriousness, I really appreciate that. It's uh, It's often that I find myself thinking about how happy I am with the way this channel has taken off. That was never the intention, it just happened. Uh, and I, it, it, it makes me really happy. And some of you I've really, I really got to know sort of by name. Um, it's been a wonderful experience. So sorry for this random uh, sort of emotional remark, but, but I, I, I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Way more videos to come. See you later.